Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thank you, sir. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday. Brand new release day coming at you with 2020 Panini Contenders Football. Six box. Pick your team number four. Second half of the case. Remember, I marked these four a little bit earlier. And there's everybody right here getting in on the action. This time it was Townsend with the double last spot mojo. Thanks to him and thanks to everybody for uh, getting into this and making this happen. Appreciate it. All right. Five autos a box, including one on-card auto. The first half we saw a couple points cards and a, uh, a couple redemptions. So I think that might that might be the, uh, the 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 general trend for for your contenders breaks. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We got uh, we got break five. I think with 14, 15 teams left. If you're watching live, visit Jaspiescasebreaks.com and keep chipping away at it. Remember, there's there since uh, contenders it really doesn't have a lot of cards with numbers in it. I wouldn't hold my breath for like number blocks for teams. So just grab, this is one of those days where we're just having to do it the old fashioned way. Grab your teams straight up. Just throwing these cards around, sorry about that. So I bought, I bought the tickets. Listen to this. All right. Mega Millions, folks. Someone You're good, Kelvin. Someone came in before me. Uh oh. Bought tickets. Didn't want to pay. What do you mean didn't want to? What do you mean didn't want to pay? She wanted a hundred dollars worth, uh -huh. so she said a hundred tickets. That's two hundred. Oh, that's two hundred dollars, right? So then she got he didn't so realize mad and it was... left. So that means I'm gonna win on her ticket. Whoa! Yeah, that's probably true. Now that was that's. It's gonna be a news story. What a what a noob! She didn't know it was two dollars a ticket. What a nub. Got, got my megas right here. All right, so a lot of these are vet commons. Most of these are going to be vet commons. These aren't going to ship. Obviously, stuff like that, that's an insert that will ship. And this is a bird right here. Eno Benjamin, obviously an auto will ship. Victor with the Cardinals. And these will do left-right randomizers at the end. If they're numbered, we'll randomize those separately. Obviously winning tickets or inserts, that'll ship. And these... These are inserts, that'll ship. And this will ship for the Ravens. Justin uh, Matabuki for Aaron and the Purple Birds. Yeah, Nick, that's definitely gonna happen now. Because th that'll be the news story. It'll be like, local man <laughs> went to a grocery store to buy, buy lottery tickets. The woman in front of him did not wanna pay. Uh, no, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. Right. Get your Mega Millions. Oh, yeah. I gotta get more. I already have three. <laughs> gotta get more. <laughs> Lottery fever has struck Jaspies, ladies and gentlemen. There's uh, Darnell Mooney. Two out of 99. Bit of a playmaker here for the Bears. Ramon with Chicago. All right, and we've got a Justin Herbert here, Rookie of the Year contenders. I thought you'd be here more often, Calvin, with a, with a lot of schooling at home nowadays. Or maybe you're just busier now. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? We got Jake from State Farm. On-card autograph for the Bills. Greg Munson with Buffalo. Buffalo!
Obviously, that's going to ship too. Those are inserts. J.K. Dobbins number, that'll ship. All right. Herbert Ortua guesses Travis. It's Jeff Gladney instead. I'm getting a lot of interesting redemptions here. Gladney, I feel like we've not seen as a as a redemption. Where's my checklist? I have no idea where he goes. He is a Viking, Minnesota. That's going to go to Matthew Shira. They do redemptions. They're printing directly on the card now instead of the, the stickers they used to do. I guess that saves time. Saves the time for someone to actually sticker all these redemptions, right? Makes sense. All right, we'll do a recap at the end as well. Next box. Good luck. No, no Broncos yet. But we only just finished our first box, so you're just you're just in time. And nothing sold out at the moment, folks, after this. I see a couple orders coming in. Pick your team five is the very next contenders that we can do. And that's holding at 15 teams at the moment. Pick your team five is from a fresh case. So visit jazbeescasebreaks.com. Point your browsers there. Do people say that anymore? Point your browser to jazbeescasebreaks.com. These packs are awful this year. Finally, last pack. There we go. Second box. Good luck. This is your team four. Plenty more in the store, folks. Go and get it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got Rookie of the Year contenders. AJ Dillon to 149. For Green Bay, Matthew Shira. And we've got Ed Too Tall Jones. Nice one for Townsend and the Cowboys. We saw an, we saw an old school cowboy in uh in the first half, and here's another one here. In the second half. And there's Joe Burrow, rookie of the year contenders for the Bengals. Sean Maddock with that one. Our next autograph, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Raymond Calais. Rookie ticket auto for the Rams, that's gonna be for Nick Koba. Another Ram, Jordan Fuller this time. Rams just uh, filled some coordinator positions lately. Jalen Hurts, Rookie of the Year contenders for Nathaniel and the Fly Eagles Fly. And we've got...
got another one for the Eagles, John Hightower IV. Nathaniel Murphy with the Eagles. And there's your Broncos autograph on card auto. Jerry Judy, rookie ticket autograph for Ramon and the Broncos. Little horse team mojo. All right. Next box. Again, more in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got a late night going on too. We might have to go in late into the night if every pack's gonna be this difficult. I would gladly pay an extra nickel per pack for better pack quality. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm just not using a. Maybe I need a. I, I've adjusted, Adam. In-game adjustment. I'm putting a lighter touch, a lighter pull on the packs. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just being too eager and aggressive with it. In-game adjustment. I'm already seeing improvements. Next box. Good luck, everybody. And we've got these will randomize uh, separately because they're numbered. We've got Henry Ruggs on top and Jerry Judy on the bottom. A little rivalry randomizer here. We got Devin Asiasi for the Patriots, Karen Steele and her Pats. We got Dearness Johnson, 17 out of 49 championship ticket autograph. For the Browns, that'll be for Jerry Bennington. We got DJ Dallas. Seattle. Dallas going to Seattle. That'll be for Robert Briggs. JB, you never heard of those guys? You gotta watch. You gotta watch more football. There's Patrick Queen, rookie autograph for Aaron and the Ravens.
Actually, I had no idea who this guy was. <laughs> Who's Dearness Johnson? Other guys I knew. All right. Next redemption is Clyde Edwards Elaire. We've all heard of him. That's going to go to KC, Jay Goins, and the Chiefs. I think he's been. Is he going to play this? He's been practicing. This would be good for the hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby if we can get some Clyde Edwards Elaire rumbling out there. All right, three boxes to go. Yeah, JB. Contenders is kind of like that. Just because, I mean, five autographs a box in a, in a pretty card-heavy set. It's going to reach towards the, uh, towards the deeper parts of the draft. See some guys. But what's unique about this is that if you're, like, personally PCing a particular team or something like that, there's going to be autos of the, these rookies that... You'll probably never see in any other set again, you know. So there's there's a little bit of advantage to that. Like we saw that uh, we well, well actually this is a pretty good player. We saw uh, that that Becton offensive lineman, the big offensive lineman for the Jets, and and we were commenting during that part of the break. We were just like, you know, it's kind of weird. It's you know you're not going to see offensive lineman autographs too often in very other very many other sets. Um, so if you're a Jets fan, you know what I mean. It'll be kind of kind of cool to get to add that to your team PC, just for just for funsies, because you're not going to see them in like Prism or anything. So, so I think that that that's where there, there's like a little fun value added to to stuff like Contenders. And of course, obviously the big hits are still are going to be monsters. Contenders is is kind of like the Contenders Prism, even Select are kind of like the rookie cards to get for a particular year. And then the RPAs, of course, would be like Immaculate and Flawless and MT. But just the auto onlys. I, you know, I'll be honest with you. Clyde Edwards Elaire started off the season hot, and I know everyone was all over Clyde Edwards Elaire. He cooled off a little bit. And then I think it was just banged up, so I think it was just sort of out of sight, out of mind for a lot of for part of the hobby, but I think there's still some solid value there. People like collecting running backs. There's Alexander Johnson for the Broncos. So maybe we wait and see on the Edwards Elaire to see how he does in the AFC Championship game, and if the Chiefs get to the Super Bowl, and if he's healthy for the Super Bowl, and he has a good game, you know, then you then I think then you'll see another then you'll see another big boost in value for him again. Maybe more similar to early in this earlier in the season. There's Bryce Perkins, Rams, goes Nick. But I think he, isn't he the Clyde Edwards Elaire? I think still might be the leading rusher, leading rookie rusher. There's Justin Herbert for Franz and the Chargers. Another redemption there, third redemption. We got Donovan Peoples Jones, cracked ice autograph. Five out of 25, nice. Jerry Bennington with the Browns. I feel like Peoples Jones showed some flashes of, of his talent and what he could do, possibly in the NFL. T. Higgins, Rookie of the Year Contenders card. We got Gabriel Davis. Here's a good one. On-card autograph, Gabriel Davis. Greg Munson, Buffalo Bills. I think he's starting to, I think, a couple drops in the end zone. He could, have, he could have two touchdowns in a divisional game, I think. So he could. he's on the cusp of breaking out. Elaire had 800 yards, and then, oh, Gibson and Robinson both had a better year by the end. 
It's out of 199, Big Ben. The redemption is going to be Kenneth Murray, Chargers. That's going to be for Franz. LAC, Los Angeles Chargers. Ten more autos to go, two more boxes. Anyone have any good uh, daily fantasy plays that you that you're that you're locking in this weekend for the AFC Championship games, AFC and NFC Championship games, conference games? Some players you're taking a strong position on that you feel like sharing. Fantasy is always is always fun. Start thinking thinking about all these uh, game scenarios in your head and everything. Al Allen anytime TD Ramon saying. Allen Lazard or Josh Allen. JB likes a Chiefs teaser, teasing him down to down to plus thir minus thirteen, plus thirteen. You mean? Or you like minus thirteen and getting better odds? Josh Allen says Ramon. Anything for daily fantasy though? DraftKings lineups, FanDuel lineups. Buccaneers are kind of a pass funnel uh, defense, I think. Their running game, their running, their run defense is pretty strong, so it, people end up passing more on them. Aaron Jones could be sneaky good. In the pass game, I don't know. I feel like those guys are kind of easy to figure out. Like the bigger names, but then it's always always like this is where this is where I get got in like DraftKings lineups is like is like the third wide receiver like when you have like four thousand dollars left is like finding that guy, you know, because like the guys I pick are having good games and then it's just like you know the last guy or whatever. There's Rashad Lawrence. Yeah, we should Jack. I'm sure we will. Cardinals Victor with the Cardinals. Jalen Hurts and Raymond Calais. Rams, that goes to Nick Koba. Signed by the Rams in early September. I mean, how's Patrick Mahomes going to do in Daily Fantasy on DraftKings? He's, he's uh, past concussion protocol, but... I don't know. They're saying he's his foot's banged up. Maybe his mobility's banged up a little bit. There's J.K. Dobbins, rookie ticket autograph. Nice one for Aaron Billingsley and the Ravens. J. Dog, I'm on the uh, I'm on the Packers. I have financial interest in the Packers. Minus three. Another Raven for Aaron, James Proch. J Dog, you have a small investment on the Buccaneers. It's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good game. I think both games are I'm looking forward to both games. They're both gonna be pretty exciting, I think. 
There's Jerry Judy. Another on-card auto for Ramon and the Broncos. Little oppo Joe Mojo. And I think, you know, Vegas is Vegas for a reason, you know? <laughs> so... I think they. I think those lines are actually kind of spot on. My, the minus three for the two home teams, I think, are pretty spot on. Like I wish I could get, you know, Green Bay minus two and a half, but I don't think that's ever going to happen, right? You know, or if you're on the Buccaneers side, you would love them at plus three and a half, plus four, right? I think you could have gotten that very early in the week, but that's you're just not going to get there, you know. So. So I think the lines are kind of sharp. I, you, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some pushes that happen with those lines. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe do you pay? Do you pay for like a half point, one way, one one direction or the other? Actually, now that Mahomes is back, you think that Chiefs line moves, JB? He's thinking. He's thinking down to minus six and a half by game time. I don't know if it move, would it move that much because I think the I think Vegas had it at minus three just knowing that Mahomes I, I think they always assumed that Mahomes was gonna was gonna play. What do got? Adam's got a little narrative here, and the, he's thinking that the Chiefs play for behind, from behind for a while and then come back and win. In the regular season, Bills outscored a point by yeah one nineteen hundred nineteen points in the first half. Only seven points in the second half. And that was boosted by the big wins at the end of the season, so they let a lot of teams back into games. While Meanwhile, Casey trailed in 10 of their 14 wins, and then we saw the comebacks that they had, they had to make last year in the playoffs. True. Maybe first half Buffalo bets. I think, see, the problem with Buffalo is that they don't run very often. They don't run very much. I guess they have plays that that are like passing plays that are kind of, that are pretty much runs, but but yeah, they don't do that. So they don't really. So it's just a lot of Josh Allen slinging it. There's another one we're going to randomize separately. Isaiah Simmons and A.J. Terrell, Cardinals, Falcons, round numbers. I heard, uh, I'm trying to remember what, what stat this was, but I heard a, a, teams don't score a lot in the first quarter in like these playoff games, in these conference championship games. I heard something about that. That you could take like an under 10 in the first quarter and do pretty well more often than not. And then more points start to get scored as the game goes on. So there's an interesting like first quarter trend in championship and, and Super Bowl games too, I think. There's Marlon Davidson for the Falcons. That'll be for Bryant. There's Rodrigo Blankenship, the Colts kicker, going to Mark. We got C.J. Henderson for the Jacksonville Jaguars, rookie auto for Mark. And the Jags, little cat team mojo. And a redemption. 
And the last redemption is going to be... Tyler Johnson, who I think is a Buccaneer. Are we going to see more Tyler Johnson in action? Without Antonio Brown? Maybe Scotty Miller gets uh, some more looks as well. Those could be some cheap guys in, uh, in DraftKings. Interesting. Bills lead at the half, plus Chiefs win game is plus 525. Kind of like that. Based on the trends. All right, no points here, but we've got some uh, round number randomizing to do. So let's go flip back to random.org. I've got a blank list here. I need a couple more here. One and two. All right, so the first is going to be left-right randomizers for the round numbers. We're going to go by the back of the card. Um, the first one is a randomizer versus bird teams. It's Arizona versus Atlanta. And then the next one is, uh, I almost put Oakland, Las Vegas Raiders and Denver. Same dice roll for all three lists. And that's going to be, come on, 11 times? Come on, Rambo. 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 the final time. After 11, left side will get him. I think left side got him last time. So left side cards will get those round number cards. And 11 times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 11th and final time. After 11, uh, Atlanta, Brian with the Falcons. So Brian, you'll get this note card that's numbered 136 to 149. And we've got Henry Ruggs versus Jerry Judy to 149. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven the final time. After eleven, goes to Las Vegas, little Raider Joe Mojo going out to Townsend. There you go, Jack Townsend. You get the 105 to 149 round numbers card. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, let's do a quick recap. All right, here for pick your team number four. Pick your team five is in the store. It will be from a fresh case. We haven't seen autos of the, well, I haven't seen autos of the big quarterbacks yet. I think Jason Jaspi did the, uh, pulled a Jalen Hurts earlier. But pretty solid break overall. Let's keep hunting, folks, hunting for the big names. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break.